All right, I got some good mean tweets. <laughs> this is a, it's actually not a tweet, it's a YouTube. This guy, Red Horse 89 on YouTube. Can you put a gun in your mouth? I'm so tired of you invading my video enjoyment with your goddamn stupid talking head and your fake ass models that nod and don't even know anything about what you're speaking about. Or he didn't even put what? Know anything you're speaking about. The next time you charter a fucking jet from Nebraska, I hope it crashes into a hillside. And I hope you don't die from it. I hope you are stuck to your own body. Burn melted into your own body in an invalid face. In state, I would come visit you and fart in your face. Pour hot sauce into your catheter. Fuck you. Burn in hell. Suck my clit and balls. Uh, somebody might be, be in need of a little therapy. That's what I'm gonna recommend. <laughs> that may be the funniest one I've ever heard. <laughs> it was hope I was stuck to my own body. This one kills me right here. This one just kills me. Zombie GRN, he's trying to correct me. He said, self-improvement is free, Ty. If you're spending money on self-improvement, then you're doing something wrong. That 100 grand a month could help so many people in need instead of using it to make an ego bigger. I said, self-improvement, I said, that's BS. Self-improvement isn't free. You saying the author of a book shouldn't be paid? Who the fuck started this myth that self-improvement is free? Every person in here has walked into a restaurant, whether it be a Subway, a McDonald's, a nice uh, restaurant, and when the bill came for the food, did you go, uh, food should be free? Why? What do you mean? Do you not understand economics? If the author of a book takes time out, that author of the book has to pay the bill, feed the family. What, is he gonna barter with the, the gas company and the electric company? No, he needs cash. So you give them cash to pay for the materials that went into the subway and the time and energy and effort and the risk taken by the entrepreneur who owns the restaurant and you gladly pay them. But when it comes to me giving out badass information, people are gonna fucking get butt hurt because I charge money. Who are you? You don't deserve this shit, then stop paying. Stop paying, just Google. Hey, I'm gonna do a little test. This is a funny one, I did this one. How to make a million dollars. Go Google it. That's free information. See what fucking bullshit, low level information you get. It's the lamest articles indexed at the top of Google. I, I went through one, it's like 50 ways to become a millionaire. Drive an Uber for 50,000 hours. Oh my God, thank you for this article. I'm giving out my social media marketing agency. Yes, people pay less than the price of a, a quarter of community college to learn from somebody I know a thing or two about social media and I pass it on, but why should I give it, it to free for free? I spent literally tens of millions of dollars experimenting. I gotta give that all out for free? Well, fuck you, that's my answer to you. Take your, if you don't have basic comprehension skills about how the world works, you shouldn't be in my programs. If you think all, you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. It's one thing I've learned with clothing, cars, you know, different cars. This year, I'm a Rob Report 2017. I'm one of the judges judging what's the best car. So I've driven them all. And you know what? Pretty much what you pay for is the quality of the car. Rolls Royce Dawn, nicer than a Maserati. I got a Dawn and I got a Maserati. Guess which one costs more money? Yeah, you get what you pay for. When someone tries to actually help people and charge money, you're gonna try to call me fucking out? Take the L, bro. Take the L. You don't know shit about this world. That's all I can tell, that's all I can say about your ass. So you're right, you should keep your free education. You can compete with the people that pay a little bit.